First up, we're in the 5th District Court in Cedar City, Utah, for the sentencing of Tristan Lamoureux. Lamoureux has just pled guilty to killing his wife, Misty, following an argument in their apartment. According to news reports, she was shot five times in the head. When police arrived, they found Misty's body in the bathroom and Lamoureux fleeing the scene. Now in court, Lamoureux sits surrounded by four sheriff's deputies who closely watch over him. Judge G. Michael Westfall calls Misty's brother, Jason Wilson, to come up to the front of the courtroom and deliver an impact statement. As he approaches the podium, Wilson shoots an intimidating stare in the direction of the defendant. But Lamoureux seems unbothered as he casually rocks back and forth in his chair. After speaking for a bit, Wilson breaks from his emotional testimony and turns his full attention to Lamoureux. Since the words don't appear to have any effect on Lamoureux, Wilson tries a different approach. Sheriff's deputies step up as Wilson begins speaking directly to the man who killed his sister. Wilson lunges at Lamoureux, but his lawyer pushes Wilson back against the barrier. Lamoureux stands up as if he's ready to rumble, but a deputy slams him to the ground and away from the melee. Chairs are left spinning as deputies drag Wilson to the floor and restrain him. With the courtroom engulfed in chaos, these inmates taking in the scene seem completely unfazed. Moments later, Wilson's cuffed by the deputies. He apologizes for his outburst, and the judge orders him removed. The deputies put the courtroom back in order, and Lamro returns to rocking in his chair. According to local authorities, Jason Wilson was not charged for the incident. As for Tristan Lamro, He's eventually sentenced to 15 years to life in prison for first-degree murder. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.